Just days ago, something incredible happened that has astronomers buzzing with excitement. A small meteoroid, likely no bigger than a tennis ball, slammed into the moon at breakneck speed, creating a brilliant flash that was captured live by observers on Earth. This wasn't just another routine detection found buried in telescope data days later. Someone actually watched it happen in real time, seeing the flash appear on their screen as the impact occurred. The event has been linked to the Gemini meteor shower, the same celestial display that lights up our skies every December. In this video, we're breaking down this fascinating observation, exploring what it tells us about the hidden dangers lurking in space and why events like this matter more than you might think. The impact occurred on December 12, 2025 at exactly 3.09 UTC. For less than a second, a point on the Moon's surface lit up with enough intensity to be visible from Earth, nearly 400,000 kilometers away. The flash was detected during a dedicated lunar monitoring session using specialized equipment designed to catch exactly these kinds of transient events. But here's what makes this truly special. The observer saw it happen live. Imagine sitting at your telescope, watching the Moon's dark surface, and suddenly a brief spark of light appears right before your eyes. For most astronomers, this is a once-in-a-career moment, something many spend years hoping to witness but never do. Timing and conditions played a crucial role in making this detection possible. The impact happened during the new moon phase when the near side of the moon was cloaked in darkness. Without sunlight illuminating the surface, even a small flash stands out dramatically against the black backdrop. Had this occurred on the moon's sunlit side, the intense reflected light would have completely masked the impact flash, rendering it invisible to Earth-based observers. It's a reminder of how much timing matters in astronomy. Scientists estimate the culprit was remarkably small, perhaps only a few centimeters in diameter. You might wonder how something so tiny could create a flash visible across such a vast distance. The secret is speed. This object was hurtling through space at approximately 35 kilometers per second. That's over 126,000 kilometers per hour. At these extreme velocities, even a small rock carries tremendous kinetic energy. The instant it collides with the lunar surface, all that energy converts to heat and light in an explosion, creating a brief but detectable optical signature. Researchers are still working to determine the precise impact of the location. Early analysis suggests it struck somewhere slightly northeast of Langrenus Crater, a prominent feature easily visible from Earth. Pinpointing exact coordinates requires detailed analysis of viewing geometry, precise timing data, and careful calibration of instrumental effects. This meticulous work helps build comprehensive maps of where impacts tend to occur across the lunar surface. What makes this observation historically significant is its geographic origin. This marks the first confirmed lunar impact flash ever recorded from Ireland, and only the second such detection from anywhere in the British Isles. When you consider how brief these flashes are, typically lasting less than a second, and how much lunar surface area needs monitoring, successfully capturing one represents a genuine achievement. It requires not just sophisticated equipment, but also dedication, timing, and sometimes pure chance. Now you might be thinking, why does a small flash on the moon matter so much? The answer lies in what these impacts reveal about our cosmic neighborhood. The moon serves as a natural impact recorder because it lacks an atmosphere. On Earth, our atmospheric shield burns up or slows down most incoming debris, but the moon has no such protection. Everything heading toward the lunar surface hits directly, preserving the full physics of the collision. By studying the brightness and duration of impact flashes, scientists can calculate the energy released and work backward to determine the size, mass, and velocity of impacting objects. Accumulating data from multiple observations helps map out the population of small debris floating through near-Earth space. The timing of this impact adds another layer of intrigue. It occurred right in the heart of the Gemini meteor shower's peak activity window. The Geminides are famous for producing some of the brightest and fastest meteors visible from Earth each December. What sets them apart from most meteor showers is their unusual parent body. While most meteor showers originate from icy comets that shed material as they approach the Sun, the Geminids come from 3,200 Phaethon, a rocky object that behaves more like an asteroid. Scientists still debate exactly how Phaethon releases debris, but the result is a dense stream of particles spread along its orbital path. Every December, Earth plows through this debris stream, 
causing Gemini particles to burn up in our atmosphere and create those spectacular meteor streaks. But Earth isn't the only target. The Moon also passes through the same debris field, making it vulnerable to impacts from the same population of particles. The measured impact velocity of around 35 km per second aligns perfectly with typical Gemini speeds. While this doesn't provide absolute proof, the coincidence of timing and velocity makes it highly probable this flash resulted from a Geminid meteoroid strike. Observations like this do more than confirm existing theories. They provide hard evidence that meteor streams actively bombard the Moon and that these impacts happen frequently enough to be detectable with current technology. They also help scientists understand the smaller end of the size spectrum for space debris. Large impacts are rare and extensively studied, but small impacts occur constantly, yet remain challenging to observe and analyze. Each confirmed flash refines our models of impact frequency and energy distribution. There's also a growing practical dimension to these studies. As humanity prepares for sustained lunar presence, understanding impact hazards becomes critical. Future lunar outposts will feature habitats, scientific instruments, solar panels, and communication arrays, all exposed to the space environment. While a single small impact might seem trivial over months and years, cumulative damage from countless tiny collisions could degrade equipment performance or even cause critical failures. Knowing the statistical frequency and typical energy of these impacts helps engineers design appropriate shielding and protection strategies. This event also highlights rapid progress in observational capabilities. Advances in camera sensitivity, automated detection algorithms, and coordinated monitoring networks are transforming lunar impact science. What was once an extremely rare observational success is becoming increasingly routine as technology improves. Some researchers even hope to establish continuous monitoring networks that can track impact rates in real time across the entire lunar surface. There's also potential for follow-up observations from spacecraft orbiting the Moon, High-resolution cameras aboard lunar orbiters can sometimes photograph fresh craters corresponding to observed flashes. While many small impacts don't leave easily visible craters, even negative results help refine estimates of impact energy and excavation efficiency. The Moon might appear unchanging when we gaze at it from Earth, but in reality, it's under constant bombardment. Every day, countless objects ranging from dust grains to larger rocks strike its surface, gradually reshaping the lunar landscape. This flash on December 12th was just one brief visible glimpse of an ongoing process that's been shaping the Moon for billions of years. As our monitoring capabilities expand, we'll witness more of these events, each adding another piece to the puzzle of how debris moves through our cosmic neighborhood and how it interacts with planetary bodies. So that's the story behind this remarkable detection. If you found this fascinating, remember we're challenging ourselves to hit 500 likes and 500 comments on this video. Share your thoughts below, hit that like button, and if you're not already subscribed to Astreon, make sure you join our community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.